Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a video on the Asus Intel i5 VivoBook unboxing and review. By the way, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so and click on the like and click on the notification bell to get more great videos like this one. Okay, let's take a look at the box that the laptop comes in. It's not too impressive, so let's skip on through that. Take out the laptop, and as you can see, it is a 15.6 inch laptop in size. And then we got some uh, literature here, some how do stuff. And then we have the power plug to recharge the battery for the laptop. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the laptop itself by taking a look at the available ports on this laptop. On the right hand side we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then we have a USB-C port. We have two USB 3 ports and then we have an HDMI port and we also have a power port. And then turning the laptop around and take a look on the left side we have another USB port. We have two LED ports, one for the power and one for charging. And then we have vents for the fan and this is the output vents to keep the laptop cool. And on the back we don't have anything at all. And then we go ahead and flip this on the bottom here we can see that we have a big label for serial number, model number, and so forth. And then we have on the left hand side a speaker vent and on the right hand side we have a speaker vent. This has stereo speakers. And then up top we have air vents here. And if you look over here you can see the fan that's keeping the CPU cool. Now looking at the front we have a raised lip to open up the laptop and let's go ahead and do that and we can take a look inside here and let's go ahead and zoom in on the left hand side and we can see that we have two labels one for the Intel Core which is the CPU and we have an Intel Iris graphics label. In the center we have our mouse pad and then uh, we have a label on the right hand side there which gives it some additional details of what's included in this um, laptop. Now if we zoom in a little bit you can see the fingerprint sensor right on the mouse pad there in the upper right hand corner. And let's go ahead and take a look at the webcam on the top of the screen here. And you can see there's a little slide button here that you can slide to the left and right. And when you do, it provides you with privacy, and it's called the privacy button so that uh, it blocks the camera. All right, and I've noticed also that it's a little tough to move. You really have to work at it, and it could be a lot easier. But at any rate, we do have a privacy uh, camera button there. Now let's power this on, and as you can see, the laptop powers on very quickly. I'm very impressed by the speed of uh, the boot up time from pushing the button and getting into Windows. As you can see it just goes right in within a few seconds. And then you know all I can say about this laptop is that I'm very impressed about it. It's quick. It's very user friendly. I love the fingerprint uh, sensor. I love the way the keyboard feels really nice. It doesn't feel too cushy or clicky. It just feels natural using the keys. And also the screen quality is reasonable. And this is a 1080p screen, so keep that in mind. It is definitely high definition. Okay, for the price of this laptop at Staples, um, it's very reasonable. Okay, we've come to the end of this video. Would I recommend this laptop? Yes, I like it very much. It's fast, quick, and very lightweight and user-friendly. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.